Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 42nd tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to make a program that's going to generate prime numbers between 2 to 100. We're going to use nested loops in this program so if you guys want to know what nested loops are, if you want to know more about nested loops then you can watch the tutorial on nested loops in this course. Uh, I guess it's the 39th tutorial so you can watch that and uh, you would have a clear idea of how to use nested loops and uh, even if you haven't seen that tutorial you can still watch this tutorial and uh, I'm sure you'll be able to understand because nested loops are really simple they're just loops within loops and um, you know the syntax is pretty simple so you know you can continue watching this tutorial and maybe watch uh, that one later on so uh, as you can see using code blocks I've saved a file I've given it the name prime it has the extension dot c on line one in this file I have my header file on line two I have the main function on lines three and four I have my curly braces between the braces, I'm going to put in the code for the program. Now, what is a prime number? A prime number is a number that is divisible by itself and one. And it does not have any factor between itself and one. And uh, what I mean by that is seven is a prime number, right? Because seven is divisible by itself and one, and it's not divisible by any number between one and itself, like two, three, four, five, six. None of these numbers would divide 7, right? And uh, 11 is a prime number, and 13 is a prime number, and so on and so forth. You know, all the numbers that are divisible by just themselves and 1 are prime numbers. And we're going to make a program to find such numbers between 2 and 100. And uh, we're going to use two loops. Both are going to be four loops. And uh, the outer loop is going to run through the numbers 2 to 100. And the inner loop is going to check whether each number between 2 to 100 is a prime number or not. Right, so uh, for the two loops, I'll need two control variables, and I'm going to call my control variables i and j, and uh, both are going to be integers. So to declare them, I'll have to type in int space i comma j, and I'll put a semicolon to terminate this statement. On the next line, I'm going to start uh, my outer for loop statement, and uh, I'll have to give i initial value two, and I'll have to have uh, a test condition i less than equal to 100 right because we're going to loop through 2 to 100 so that's why the initial value of i has to be 2 and the final value of i has to be 100 we're going to increment i in steps of 1 and uh, in the body of this for loop we're going to have another loop and this one's going to use j as the control variable and what this loop is going to do is we're going to use j to check whether i is divisible by j or not and we're not going to use just one value of j we're going to use all values of j between 2 and i right so we're going to check whether i has any factors between the number 2 and itself so understandably the initial value of j is going to be 2 and we're going to loop through j from 2 to i right and uh, course we're going to increment j in steps of 1 as well and uh, in the body of this loop we are going to use if to check whether i percentage j equals 0 or not and what we are doing through this if statement is we are checking whether i when divided by j leaves a remainder of 0 or not and if that is the case then j perfectly divides i if that's not the case then it doesn't right and if this is the case then we're going to break right because what this means is we found a factor for i and uh, we don't have to check for any more values of j and we can simply break out of the inner for loop and remember this break statement is going to just get us out of the inner for loop it's not going to get us out of the outer for loop right and uh, outside the body of the inner for loop we're going to have uh, another if statement which is going to check if the value of i is equal to j or not and the reason why we're doing this is because we're looping uh, for the control variable j from 2 to i right so this if statement could return a true value even if uh, j is equal to i right because the final value of j can be i and uh, if that is the case then it means that we haven't been able to find a factor between the number 2 to the number i apart from the number i itself and uh, what that means is that i is a prime number right so i hope this is not getting too complicated really just uh, slow it down and uh, try to understand copy the code write it down on a piece of paper or you know you can pause the video after the program is complete 
just copy the code in your uh, code blocks or other IDEs if you're using something else and you can execute the program see the output and I'm sure you'll be able to understand so if I is a prime number then we have to display it on screen so we're gonna do that by typing percentage D the format specified to print the value of I is a prime number and of course we're going to put in the new line escape sequence at the end and we don't have to give a space after the full stop and uh, comma i right so this is going to print the value of i uh, on screen put a semicolon to terminate this statement and with this our program is ready so when i click on build and run i see that this is the output i get 2 is a prime number, 3 is a prime number, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29, 31, 37, 41. So all these numbers are prime numbers and you can check for yourself. As I said, 7 and 11 are prime numbers. We spoke about them and all of these numbers are prime numbers in fact, right? So the logic of this program should not be too difficult to understand and the final prime number that you have between uh, 2 and 100 is 97. And of course, 98 and 99 are not prime numbers and 100 is divisible by 10. Right, so that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to talk about something interesting again. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial, and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.